Small improvements have been made to the 3D offset and steep and shallow finishing strategies in PowerMill 2017. For the 3D offset strategy, you now get the chance to choose the offset direction between outside in and inside out. In this example, I've got a shallow boundary created and an inside out 3D offset strategy calculated. I'm now going to show you where you get to choose the offset direction. So as you can see in the main form, you have this drop down menu where you can choose between the two. If I now calculate this toolpath, you will be able to notice the small differences between the two styles. And those will obviously be due to the offset direction. Regarding steep and shallow instead, you now get the chance to add the perpendicular pass when you choose raster as your style. Moreover, you get the chance to optimize your toolpath so that PowerMill automatically trims those parallel passes that would machine areas that have been already machined by perpendicular ones. If I now activate this toolpath and go into the settings, you will see that if you choose raster, in the raster tab, you can add the perpendicular pass by ticking this box and you can optimize those parallel passes that will basically be useless because the part has already been machined by the perpendicular ones. If I calculate this now, you will be able to see that there are no overlapping segments. As you can see, perpendicular and parallel passes never overlap 